All right, guys, Ewan here. So Arnold Schwarzenegger wants bodybuilding competitions to be drug tested. And here's what I think about it. In all sports, at the professional level, at the top level, athletes are using stuff. They are not natural. No matter what they say to you, no matter how tested they are or whatever, they are on something because that's how they make their living. And there are safe ways to do that thing. So they will do it. They will not just be natural for whatever reason. There are safe ways to do it, and if it's gonna enhance your performance and therefore make the sport more fun and then make the business more successful because all of the sports are business, they're all run by business organizations, they all exist because of money, everybody will use the stuff. Nobody will stop using it. And there are also ways to do this stuff without getting caught. There is stuff that gets out of the system very fast, or you can use it for a couple of years before you start competing and then you get off of it for some time. So basically it's impossible. You can implement drug testing, but you cannot really forbid the athletes to use the stuff. And I am very, very sure that Arnold knows this. He, he knows this. He is well aware that he's not gonna exactly make bodybuilders stop using stuff. That's just impossible. However, Arnold is one of the biggest promoters of the sport in the world, if not the biggest one. He was the biggest one during his time of competing during the 70s and the 80s. And he never stopped promoting the sport. He has so many Arnold Classic competitions throughout the whole world. He's always coming there to give the trophy to the winners. He is always promoting the sport. So he's one of the top promoters. And he does not want to promote the drug use, of course. Who would do that? He is well aware that he has a big responsibility because he is promoter. He is one of the top promoters in the world. And if he says, it's bodybuilding, it's not body destroying, don't use stuff. That's a good message because nobody should be using that stuff because it is very harmful. It definitely is the dark side of the professional sport. It is. You cannot deny that. It definitely is. And if he says, don't use it. There will be people who are insecure about it, who are not sure if they want to be professional bodybuilders, who are not sure if they really want to look good so bad. So they will say, well, if this is so harmful, maybe I won't use it. But there will be other part of the people who are very, very sure that they want to be professional bodybuilders and they will not care about the risk. They will be prepared to risk everything in order to become champions. So it is always good to say that the drugs are bad for you, because they are, they are. And only if you are 100% sure that you want to risk everything because of this, you should use them. There is a lot of people who are like, okay, I need to gain five pounds, I will just buy some Dibble. That's just, that's just horrible approach. That's just horrible. If you are sure that you want to be a professional in this sport, that's when you want to use it. And then it's also, questionable should you use it but that's the only way there is a lot of people who are using this for no reason and it's not even helping them so Arnold is sending a good message and that's that's good that's completely good but if it really happened if all bodybuilding competitions really were drug tested and then therefore natural that would be much fun for us to watch you know there are a lot of drug tested competitions and nothing impressive you can see there that would be boring. That would be like watching women's figure or something like that. Bodybuilding would go down, down, way down. And the organization would basically fall apart. And uh, Jim Mannion wouldn't make any money. So I'm sure this is not going to happen, definitely. It may happen in IBB Elite Pro. If you guys don't know, IBB was divided to two separate organizations. So you have IBB Pro League and IBB Elite Pro. IBB Pro League is the one that is dominant in the USA and IBB Elite Pro is dominant in Europe and other countries outside of the States. But I don't think this will happen in either of these organizations because this would be a demise of them both. So I don't think this is really something to be concerned about. I think it's a good thing that Arnold said something like this, but I don't think this will really take off. I don't think bodybuilding will become natural because that wouldn't really make sense. That would change bodybuilding completely or should I say ruin it. So that's about it for this video guys, tell me what you think about this in the comment section below and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel as well. All the best guys, bye bye.